Hello, how are you doing? I'm Rob, the Fix-It Guy. So today, I'm going to show you how to make a CV axle removal tool. I looked around because I needed one of these. It was too hard to get into my vehicle using a pry bar to, to get the CV axle loose. So I looked online, 150 bucks to buy the tool. So I decided I, I, I wanted to come up with a cheap and easy tool that anybody at home could make. So this is what I'm going to show you today, how to make the tool. I'm going to show you how it fits on the axle. Uh, cost me under $15 and I use parts from Home Depot. So very simple to uh, get the parts to make this tool. Okay, so let's get started. One, we're gonna need two pieces of metal, three feet long. If you look here, it shows exactly what kind of metal I bought. So eighth of an inch by three quarters by 36 inches. Again, this is just flat stock. You can buy it at any Home Depot, Lowe's, whatever it is. So I bought two of these, okay? Then what I purchased, Actually, I had these lying around. Two one-inch bolts. These are about eight millimeter. You don't need something too large, okay? And also two nuts. So um, that's all you're going to need, uh, just two bolts and two nuts, about an inch long. Uh, you're also going to need a small piece of 2 by 4 uh, Six inches is what I use. That should do you very well. Um, and then you're going to need four wood screws to attach the metal strips to the wood. So I've got two inch uh, wood screws here, the kind you would use for a deck. You can use any kind, as long as they're wood screws. Now this is the part I've already modified. Um, this is actually an electrical box. So this is the kind of box you would put in your ceiling, run your wires through it, etc. So what I've done is I, I purchased this. As you can see, I cut out uh, a couple of the edges here, and I also made a cutout here in the center. So there's a variety of ways you can modify this. You can certainly use a, a handsaw like this. Um, you could use a jigsaw with a metal blade, although you might go through a few blades doing it that way. Um, you can also use a, um, uh, basically a hacksaw, um, the electric kind, um, and uh, you could cut it that way. Any way you can do it, it's up to you. Uh, use whatever saws you have that are good for metal around the house. Okay, so I've, as I say, I've already modified this. So this cost me about two bucks right here. Uh, these pieces of metal were about four dollars and change, so that was about eight or nine dollars. We're up to eleven. Um, even with your screws and stuff, you're probably about ten dollars, ten, eleven dollars. Uh, so it should be well under fifteen dollars even in your area. Okay, so let's get started here. Uh, basically, what we're going to do is we're going to assemble um, this uh, this metal with the wood. So step one is you're going to have to drill two holes. I've already drilled these here, but basically what I did was I used a drill bit that's uh, a little bit smaller than the actual screws. Drill your holes in the metal, one and two, and you want to line these up so that they're right in the center of the wood. You don't want the wood cracking when you put the screws in, okay? So you want to line those up so that they're right in the center of the wood there and it doesn't crack anything. Okay, so next thing we're going to do, um, you're going to drill a hole in the other side of the metal. Again using that same drill bit and this is actually I used a bit larger drill bit because this was for the bolts. So you want a hole that's a little bit larger than the bolt so the bolt fits through. Um, and you're also going to have to have a corresponding hole in the electrical box right here. So that was drilled by me as well. So I drilled that right through there. Okay. You do the same thing on the other side. Again you're going to drill the hole through and that's what our metal here is going to attach to when we build our tool. Okay, so that's going to attach on both sides. So we're going to put that together right now. So when you put the bolts in, what you want to do is you want the bolt to go from the inside out. Do I have to start over? You want the bolt to go from the inside out, and that's for clearance issues, because when we install this eventually, and we use this to remove the CV axle, you don't want the bolt sticking out here any more than it has to. So you're going to use the shortest or, or flattest part on the inside. We're then going to put the metal on here, and we're going to put our nut. Okay, and eventually once this is all put together, it's actually going to go in this position here. So we'll, we'll roll it to that position. All right, we're now going to do the other side. Put 
put our metal on there. We've got our nut. Now we're going to tighten that up. Okay, so we're not going to fully tighten this up till we're done here. So we'll, we'll leave it just loose for now. And now what we're going to do is we've got our 2x4. We're going to pre-drill some holes so that we don't crack the wood. So we're going to put the wood in place here like this. And as you can see, I don't want the hole to be too far to the edge because that'll crack the wood. So try and put it as close as you can to the center. Again, you can choose whatever screw you have. The bit should be slightly smaller than the screw. Okay, so, uh, but I'm using 11 sixty-fourths. All right, so what I'm gonna do now, I'm gonna drill this pre-drill so that, uh, again, the, the main purpose here, let's not fatigue or crack the wood. Okay, that's good. All right, that's excellent. Okay, we're now gonna do the other side. Actually, you know what? I'm gonna uh, I'm gonna put the screws in this side first, just to hold it in place. Okay, we're gonna flip it around. We're gonna do the same thing here. Okay, so this side is fully assembled now. We've got our six inch uh, two by four in there. The last step we have is to simply tighten these, uh, these bolts here so that they're nice and snug. Okay, so the easiest way, I'm just gonna grab this. You can use a, an open end wrench here if you like, but I've got some, uh, some pliers here. I'm just gonna tighten it up. Try and make this perpendicular. Yeah, that's just about snug there. Okay, that's nice and tight. All right, so um, as I said, I built this so that I could remove the CV axle on one of my vehicles. It's actually a, a beer rendezvous. And like a lot of other vehicles, what you find is when you go in there, if you have enough room, you can certainly use pry bars to try and get your CV axle out. But often, at least on one of the sides, you don't have quite enough room uh, to get any kind of direct, straight out motion with the pry bar. So that's where something like this comes in handy. So although I've already done the job, I'm going to show you what it looked like when I actually installed the tool. So this side of the CV axle goes up against your differential. So this is actually sitting right up against that case. You might have about an inch of space in there. So what you do with the tool is you slide it over here and you'll see it does have a little bit of flex to it so you can actually push it down right over that CV axle. So once you slip the tool over um, on the CV axle, basically that's still installed on the vehicle. You're going to have lots of room here because this is going to come out of the wheel fender so you're not tucked into the wheel fender and don't have access. You're actually, your wheel fender is going to end about here so you've still got lots of room. And what you can do then is put a piece of wood like this and give it a tap with a big hammer. All right, and what that'll do is, you can see that's gonna pull it straight back. Subscribe and like if you enjoyed my video. Thank you.